John Burko, the former Speaker of the House of Commons, has spoken of his respect for the SNP group at Westminster. In a talk, promoting his new book, Mr Burko was scathing of some of his former Conservative parliamentarians, including Boris Johnson and David Cameron. Speaking candidly to a sold-out audience at an I Write Book Festival event at the Mitchell Theatre he recalled the period following the 2015 election when 56 SNP MPs were elected to Westminster. Mr. Burko praised the group's unity and singled out a Glasgow MP for praise. He spoke of the current Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, of David Cameron caving into the nutters and food cakes of UKIP, and the government minister he wouldn't trust as far as he could throw. On the SNP Mr. Burko said, I had an early minor spat over clapping. The most striking thing about them was the solidaristic ethos of the SNP, properly representing constituents on the turf of Westminster. The SNP turned up in large numbers, tabled for questions heavily. They made their presence felt. They were a very effective respected force. I did respect them and I didn't like it when government backbenchers were braying it to them. The SNP issued a wake-up call to us all and punched their weight. People of the calibre of Stuart Malcolm MacDonald, Glasgow South SNP MP, are not going to be rubbished or intimidated. They will have their say. He said that the stalemate over a second independence referendum will not be resolved quickly. Mr Burko said the UK government was entitled to say, we had an independence referendum in 2014 we won be quiet however, he added, but it was said, yes they accepted once in a generation, unless there was a material change in circumstances. David Cameron said stay in the UK within the single market and the EU and Scotland is now being led out of the EU, so it is a material change. He said the continued refusal would lead, he thinks, to an exponential increase in support for a referendum and in time for independence. He said the risk of the UK splitting asunder was greater than at any other time and that it required a leader to display diplomacy, skill, subtlety and statecraft to keep it together. But questioned whether Boris Johnson possessed those qualities. On David Cameron he said he was wrong to have called the EU referendum when there was no public clamour for one at the time. He criticized Boris Johnson and accused him of mimicking Donald Trump. Mr. Burko said on recent tension between the government and the judiciary it was wrong to attempt to reduce the power of the court and he added that it was also wrong to try and dictate who should and should not attend press conferences. He said it was a reprise of the Trump playbook. When asked who was the most likely successor to Boris for more on this story, visit the news article link.